Dr. Peacock, you have spoken on a number of occasions about the responsibilities inherent in the choice to have children. Looking at it from the other direction, what, if anything, does a person owe his parents? He owes his parents so far as they have not maltreated him. We're assuming decent uh, parents. Uh, respect, if they have in fact been good to him, help foster his values, he should love them. You can't make love an obligation, but uh, you know it would follow if they're that kind of parent. Uh, he should feel gratitude uh, to them. Uh, he should be polite to them. Now, you're trying to get me to say, when they're old, he owes them upkeep? No, he doesn't. Because they are not breeding slaves. They're not breeding someone to look after them in their old age. If he has the money and he loves them and it's not a sacrifice, great. But he does not owe his parents tit for tat uh, financially. Uh, the same is true of any crisis that they go through. If they have treated him well, then in justice, he, he's a positive toward them. He, they are value to him. And if they are value to him, then other things be equal. He's obligated to help them in a crisis. But it's the love that has to mediate it, and that has to be on a hierarchy. What other values are being threatened or lost uh, in the process? It's, but it's a much more one-way street. The parents owe more to the child than the child does to the parents because the parents made the choice to bring him into existence. Uh, he didn't. 